Ah, well, isn't this nice, friends? Today's the start of a series. First, let's just get this nice little slow motion clip of this bowl. Hi, folks, how's it hanging? Today's video is going to be the start of a new series called B Cubed. B to the power of three. It stands for something better. Balanced. I have a topic I wrote a lot about. This topic is general happiness. Since you know this series is kind of trying to help you guys achieve that, or just kind of, yeah, achieve happiness, you know? So I'm just gonna put on this beautiful face mask. We're gonna set the 30 minute timer, and then we're gonna get crack lacking. Alright, cool. Baby, This is a collab with a ton of my friends. Let me just read out their names. One second. <laughs> Jenna, Paige, Zandria, Elizabeth, Yasmin, Brooke, Gabriella, and Bree. And they're all doing random spring breaks, spring cleaning, you know, routines. Kind of, you know, just the fun spring videos. And yeah, I hope you like all of their videos. It'll be linked down below. I'll probably make a playlist. Maybe it'll be annotated. Alright, so the timer is set. So now I'm just going to get into some of the points that I want to talk about. By the way, if you happen to see like a, a ladder in my mirror, it's because we're doing something to my room. Number one is to pamper yourself. It is so important to show love to yourself if you want to return that love to others. I have it all written down, so I'm just going to read off the paper. Face masks body scrubs, lotion, exfoliation, bath bombs, etc. Freaking just, just care for your body, guys. Because your body is so cool and it takes care of you and keeps you from getting sick. And even if you do get sick, like, your body is constantly fighting to, like, keep you alive. And your body's, like, freaking anatomy and science and cool stuff like that. Since your body's always trying to take care of you, you try and, in turn, take care of your body. Number two, document your life. And I know most people are like, live your life, don't feel the need to take pictures or videos of it. And I've heard from a lot of people, why don't you just live your life and not document it through a camera? But for me, it's like, that's so therapeutic to just document it over a camera and stuff. Memories don't always serve you in the best way. Sometimes they will just erode away and other memories will take their place. But you know, like, if you document your life, you can always look back on it, if that makes sense. I made two different Snapchats. But one of them, you know, I use a lot, and then one of them I just made, so I send pictures and photos of myself. So pretty much I'm documenting what I've done, memorable, memorable things that have happened in 2016. So on New Year's Eve or on New Year's 2017, I'm going to open all those Snapchats that I sent myself. Number three is drink more water. Speaking of which, it has been one of my New Year's resolutions for so long to drink more water. and. I got the Camelback shoot and I, like, it's helped me drink water so much easier because it has like 32 ounces, so if I drink four of these then I drink a gallon of water a day. And it's not hard to drink four of these, at least for me. I don't drink soda, I don't drink milk, I mean, I don't really drink smoothies, I eat them like in bowls. So it's kind of like, water is what I love and they make Camelback Eddies, but it's half of this. And so then you have to drink eight of those, which is the same amount of water, but it's for me it's easier to just have to only fill up four. Also, water energizes you, it reduces cramps, it's pretty much like the magic drink that you can have. Number four is smile more! Smiling sends messages to your brain that you are happy, so certain endorphins are released, which in return makes you actually happy. It's kind of like how working out releases those endorphins that makes you happier. That's the same thing with smiling, like it tells your brain that, oh she's using this muscle, she also uses this muscle, when she's happy, then like your hormones work together and they produce endorphins and then you're just like, woohoo! Why frown all the time? Five, do the things that other people think are weird or just do what makes you feel happy, you, even if people think it's weird. I'll tell you a few of my favorite things, okay. T, finishing your favorite book. Giggles, cuddling, breaking in new shoes, looking at the seasons change, hugging tall people, at all my friends you know, sunshine beating down on you, and feeling like you can fly when you're in the middle of bouncing on a trampoline. Those are just some of the things that just make me feel so like elated and blissful and like I genuinely feel happy right now just talking about those things. If you want to see a video like 100 things that make me happy, 
Oh girl, I could come up with like 1,000. Six. Confidence, 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 confidence. Okay, I wrote like a lot, a lot about this. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read what I say. The way you present yourself tells a lot about you. Once again, freaking fake it until you make it, man. The happier you are with yourself, the happier you can be in general. And you cannot ever love others if you don't know how to love yourself. It is impossible. Confidence and cockiness are different, but there is kind of a fine line. And sometimes you will cross the wrong side. Don't beat yourself up because sometimes, because, don't beat yourself up because someone says you act like you love yourself too much. Confidence is so important. If you end up being cocky, down, down a little. It is better to be overly in love with yourself than genuinely hate yourself. That's the thing you have to learn. Having confidence is like having a friend who will always have your back. It is not being vain. I have 100% been too cocky at times. And that's fucking a lot of times, girl. Like a lot. Um, and I probably still need to dial down my confidence a little. But it is something I pride myself on. I am very abundant in confidence. And a lot of times I will go back and make me seem in love with myself. The thing is, I am. I have gone through a lot of self down the hatred of myself. So I'm honestly not going to apologize for being confident or being too cocky. Because sometimes you need to be. I love myself. There are things, obviously, I don't love. But here, though, I pretty much did not like one thing. I worked so hard to fake confidence until I finally had it, and I get to a lot better to change myself. And obviously, that's a thing I'm working on super hard too, because you know that's not a good thing. Being too overly in love with yourself, but you know. but confidence is a tricky thing to master. And when someone says it's ridiculous that you love yourself too much or that you act like you're something special, know that they might think it's an insult. But you are special. You should love yourself, and of course, making sure you aren't cocky is so important. But loving yourself is way more important. Putting yourself first is not a crime; it is a necessity. Number seven is listen to music, do karaoke, dance, scream at the top of your lungs. <laughs> Dance like no one is taping it for YouTube. Even if somebody is taping it for YouTube or Snapchat or posting it on their Finsta or I don't know, man. Even if somebody's doing that, like, who cares? Some of the simplest things turn out to be, like, the huge memories. And I know, I'm sure you've heard that. Oh, well, when you look back, the little things weren't so little. But it's honestly true. Some of the best things that you can do for yourself is just stay in with your friends and dance and sing and all of the above. Go on walks and visit nature. Number eight, sit outside more, go on a hike. And trust me, I am personally not a big fan of books at all, but I love and adore nature and trees and flowers and the breeze and clouds and the sun. The smell of Fresh pine cannot always be created through a candle. Exploring excites me. And sometimes you have to reach outside of your comfort zone. Tell yourself to suck it up and do something. Document it with your phone. Using your phone is not a crime. It's just 10 out of 10 would recommend. Love nature. Um, nine is create goals for yourself. I go to camp every summer. I make goals there because I do a program called Raggers. I haven't definitely done all of mine yet, but number one is to respect your body. Love yourself and your body. Don't feel the need to, um, what's that word? Don't feel the need to hate yourself or cover up. Be least from the inside out and realize that. Continue to treat your body right. Do yoga at least two times a week. I meditate. I originally run it once a week, but it's kind of trying to progress it into once a day. Um, push yourself and your body, even when you're tired or scared. Continue to eat healthy, trying new things that push your comfort zone. Invest time and money to love yourself. Bath bombs, scrubs, lotions, taking time out of your day. Try to breathe and understand that your body is constantly loving helping you. Also empower other, others to love their body, but remember to still love yourself. Allow your body to take over sometimes instead of your frantic mind. Then the other one was respect others. Someone once told me that once when you see something you usually have a nasty thought pop into your head. That's what society teaches you to think, but the next thing you think is what defines you as a person. This year become a light to others and radiate positivity. Push yourself out of comfort zones but also push others. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Judge yourself before you judge others. First impressions may be true sometimes but they can also be deceiving and untrue. Respect your mind. Your mind is strong. It is willing it's stubborn. Your mind needs to let your body take over sometimes but sometimes it's vice versa. When your mind and body work together they become no music. music. Speaking of music, learn an instrument, study the chords, feel the chills it gives you when you play a song. I'm also thinking about learning ukulele or guitar, by the way. In case you're wondering which um, instrument I want to learn. Um, maybe learn American Sign Language, maybe fluently, work on it. And to the point where you could say, maybe have a small conversation with a deaf person. Let your mind help you learn things that don't let it set you back. Continue to give your friends school and everything else you decide to do. And then the last one was, face the future with faith and friends. And I wrote, God knows all. He knows everything, no matter how big or small. Learn that. Life gets tough, and I know problems don't always fix themselves. And you like to take that into your own hands. Don't always feel the need to do that. Worry less, trust in Jesus more. Continue to read and reflect on Jesus' calling, which, by the way, I mentioned in my July periods of 2014, which was a while back. But I didn't want to mention it, like, again, be super repetitive, but it's something I try to do a lot. It's Jesus calling it stellar, but it's pretty much like a daily reflection on, you know, faith and God and stuff like that. Um, but pick up your Bible. Read it cover to cover and bookmark with post its things that mean something. Use colors to highlight words that stand out. Feel something when you read it. 10. Most importantly, breathe, relax, and remember you can do anything as long as there is breath inside. You. you are invincible. You are the only thing stopping you. And you are freaking awesome. If you're passionate about something, do it. If you believe in something, tell people about it. And if you want to do something, do it. In the end, you will look back on the big things, the little things, and the moments when you did what you wanted even when no one wanted you to. Love yourself, your life, and do what you love. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to film an outro, but I honestly thought this was the best place to end the video so um i hope you guys liked it make sure to check out all the other girls stuff and if you like what you see make sure to subscribe like this video and comment bye